In this session, I'm going to be covering how to create a sparkline. Now, sparkline was proposed by Edward Tufte. It was supposed to be a data intense design simple word size graphic. And what it was supposed to do was simplify, show a simplified graphic that provided a lot of information. Microsoft Office 2010 has Sparklines implemented in the design where you can just click a couple buttons and it will create different versions or different Sparklines for you. In Microsoft Excel uh, 2007 it doesn't have that capability but we can still create Sparklines. Uh, in addition there's also other add-in programs that you can buy and download off the internet that will let you do it. But why do that when if all you need to do is just create a simple Sparkline uh, with the graphs that are already there and I'll go ahead and show you how. So let's say for example we've already got a little spark line here and it kind of shows the progression of the Google stock in the year 2010 from January to December so you see it's got a little uptick but there was a little drop here. We can do the same kind of spark line for the Apple stock. So what we need to do is just select the range of data so I'll go ahead and select that and press the control key to select uh, non-contiguous columns here and go ahead and insert a line graph we'll just choose the simple uh, 2D line graph here and as you can see here it's given us a line graph with a lot of information what we can do with this is just take out all the extraneous information the axis, the, the y-axis, the x-axis axis information the legend everything and we can do that one by one by selecting it and deleting it all but in office 2007 there's a couple predefined chart layouts and the one that will take care of all of that is layout 11 here so I'll go ahead and click on that and we see we have the, our just our nice little graph here and because spark lines are meant to be uh, small word size graphics we've got to make sure that we can make this as small as possible what but at the same time be able to express what we want to express. Now once we make it this size, let me go ahead and just make it the size of uh, two, cell, two cells here in Excel. Now what we can do is hold down the Alt key and just move the, the chart and what the Alt key does is it snaps it into place with for the cells. So once I let go we'll see that it's gotten a little bit but not totally so let's we'll fine-tune that and there you go well let me do one more time and there you go now we see here that doesn't really tell us a lot because what's happening here is the access the the uh, y-axis is given a default range we want to go ahead and change that so it looks like we can see a little bit more information from this line so once we select we, once we select the chart we can go under in the layout and go to accesses and what we want to do is tweak the vertical axis and go down here to more primary vertical axis options now what do we tweak it to um, we can by eyeballing it we can say okay the, the lowest price here was 192 uh, the highest price was 322 so we want to get it around that area so what we what we could do is for the minimum access make that uh, 190 and for the maximum access uh, point we'll make that um, 330 and let's we can go ahead and stay with the uh, major and minor units uh, that's given here and once we close that and uh, it's changed but what it also did it was it gave us the access label so we can go and it's already selected but if it's not selected and just press the delete key and now we have our little spark line so that gives us a little bit more data it kind of shows us uh, in a succinct small graphic way our 12 month view of Apple stock from last year January to December well that's how to create a spark line hope that helps thanks for watching